So let's solve this problem. So to find the area of the shaded portion from this given, so first, we need to find the radius for circle A, circle B, and circle C. Then we let R1 as the radius of circle B, R2 as the radius of circle C, and R3 as the radius of circle A. Then observe that if we extend this line and this line is equal to the radius of circle B and also this line is the radius of circle A, that's R3. So we have now R3 minus R1 equals 5 and this is equation number 1. Then to find the second equation... So we have R1 plus R2, that's equal to 10, and this is equation number 2. Then for the other equation, so if we extend this line, and this line is equal to the radius of circle C, and also this line is the radius of circle A, so we have R3 minus R2. That's equal to 7, and this is for equation number 3. Then this time from equation number 1, to solve for R3, so transpose this negative R1 to the other side. So this is equal to 5 plus R1. And from equation number 2, to solve for R2, so transpose this positive R1 to the other side. So this is equal to 10 minus R1. Then for equation number 3, so substitute now the value for R3 and R3 is equal to 5 plus R1 then minus R2 and R2 is 10 minus R1 then equals 7. Then to simplify, so distribute this negative, so negative 10, positive R1 equals 7. Then combine like terms, so R1 plus R1, this is to R1, and 5 minus 10, this is negative 5. Then transpose to the other side, so this becomes 7 plus 5. Then we have to R1 equals 12. So therefore, R1 is equal to 6. Then to solve for R3, since R1 is equal to 6, so R3 is equal to 11. And to solve for R2, so R1 is equal to 6, so R2 is equal to 4. So these are now the radius of circle A, circle B, and circle C. Then this time, using this triangle, so this side is 5, this side is 7, and this side is 10. Then we have angle A, angle B, and angle C. So first, we need to find this angle or angle A using the cosine law and the equation for the cosine law. So we have the square of the opposite sides equals 5 squared plus 7 squared, then minus 2 times 5 times 7 times cosine angle A. Then to simplify, so this 10 squared is 100, and 5 squared plus 7 squared, this one is 74. Minus 2 times 5 times 7, this one is 70, then times cosine A. Then to solve for A, so we have the inverse cosine. So 100 minus 74, that's 26, divide by negative 70. So A equals inverse cosine of 26 over negative 70. Then to solve for angle A, so we have shift cosine, then 26 
divide by negative 70. So equals, that's 111.80 degrees. So angle A is equal to 111.80 degrees. Then this time, to solve for angle B, so we have the square of the opposite side in equals 5 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 5 times 10. Then cosine angle B. Then to simplify, so this is 49. 5 squared plus 10 squared, that's 125. Then minus 100 10 times cosine B. Then to solve for angle B, so we have inverse cosine. So we have this 49 minus 125. That's negative 76. Then divide by negative 100. So to solve for angle B, so we have shift cosine. Then negative 76 divide by negative 100. So that's equal to 40.54 degrees. So angle B is equal to 40.54 degrees. Then to solve for the last angle, angle C. So this is equal to 180 minus angle A minus angle B. So angle C equals 27.66 degrees. So since we have now all the values, the radius for all circles and the angles, so we can find now the area of the shaded portion. So first, we need to find the area of sector A and to find the area of sector A, so the equation, so we have pi times the radius squared and the radius for circle A, that's 11, so times 11 squared, then times angle A and angle A, that's 111.80, then over 360. So to find now the area of sector A, so this is equal to 118.05. Then this time, we need to find the area of sector B. So formula for the area of sector B, so we have pi times the radius of sector B, that's R1. So we have 6 squared times the angle of sector B. So since this angle is equal to 40.54 degrees. Therefore, this angle is equal to 180 minus 40.54 degrees. So we have 180 minus 40.54 degrees. So the angle is 139.46 degrees. Then over 360, so the area for sector B is 43.81. Then this time, we need to find the area of sector C. So formula for the area of sector C, so we have pi times the square of the radius, and the radius is 4, so we have 4 squared times the angle. So since this angle, is 27.66 therefore this angle is 180 minus 27.66 so the angle is 152.34 degrees then over 360 so the area for sector C is 21.27 then the last area so the area for this triangle and to find the area of this triangle so using these two sides so that's 5 times 7 times sine of the included angle so sine angle A so sine 111.80 then divide by 2 
So the area of the triangle is 16.25. Then this time, we can find now the area of the shaded portion. So to find the area, so from the area of sector A, that's 118.05 minus the area of sector B, that's 43.81 minus the area of sector C, that's 21.27, then minus the area of this triangle, that's 16.25. So the area of the shaded portion is 36.72 meters squared.